What's up guys, Ben Kelly back again. I know I just made a video yesterday about the ALCS and how I never covered that, about how the Cubs won the World Series, about Kendrick Morales, about Jose Bautista, and then when I kind of asked Young, but what I realized I did not talk about is the other players on the team, such as Martin, Tulo, Donaldson, the list goes on and on. If I listed them all, we'd be here all day, plus the video that we have to do right now. So, <clears throat> I thought maybe it would be fun, uh, fun if we did a whole thing like... Um, you know, like a whole ranking system, but not like one, two, three, four, because that's boring and that makes me want to gouge my eyes out. No, I thought it would be fun, and I credit Steve Dangle for this idea. If you not, do not know who he is, be sure to check out his channel. That will be right down below. Be sure to subscribe to it if you haven't already. Um, but I thought we would do a pyramid. Rankings, tiers, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. Sorry, you're falling apart. <coughs> so... This is in, in my opinion, um, <clears throat> my level of um, importance, and when I say importance, I don't mean like the best players to the worst players, I mean who is the most important at this very second, and you could say, oh, that's Jose Bautista, no, that's Aaron Encarnacion, no, that's Josh Donaldson, no, oh, 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 shut up, no. It, that argument can go on and on, but with this pyramid here, you can now go with tiers, preferably one or two on the top, and we're going to start with the top. So right now at the top, I'm going to try to zoom in here, Jose Bautista and Edwin Encarnacion. Now, there's no reason that I put Jose before Edwin or Edwin before Jose. The reason I did it, I just did it um, to make it easier for the right on to the next level now. Donaldson, Tulowitzki, Morales, Polar, and Ezekiel Carrera. I put Donaldson there. I I put Donaldson there because why? He's um, he just won the MVP award two years ago. Tulo, he's Troy Tulowitzki. He's already won a Golden Glove. Kendris Morales, he's won a World Series. He shows um, great talent coming in to Toronto. He has a three-year deal. They've locked him up. And, they, and Kevin Pilar, he's Kevin Pilar. And Ezekiel, Ezekiel Carrera, he showed great promise last year. And I also really like the guy. Now to the next one. It's, you're going to hear a lot of people. Just warn you. Let me zoom in again. This should work. Right here. Now we have first Darwin Barney. Okay, first... We got Darwin Barney. Yeah, I'm just gonna read it out to you. Make this a bit easier for both of us. So first we have Darwin Barney, Ryan Goins, Marcus Stroman, Sanchez, and Russell Martin. Darwin Barney, why did I put him before Ryan Goins? I like Ryan Goins, but he did not play as much as Darwin Barney. Also Darwin Barney, I thought he hit he didn't hit fantastic, but he wasn't like um, Josh Tolley when it came to hitting, he was kind, he was consistent. He'd get on base, he'd get walks, he'd do what you needed to. Uh, Ryan Goins, he didn't pit, he didn't hit a lot, play a lot, but when he did play, I liked what he did. Marcus Stroman, no reason I put him below those guys. Uh, just <laughs> he fit right in there. I think he's one of the best pitchers on the team. Uh, I think then there's um, J. A. Happ, and then after that there is uh, Aaron Sanchez. And after Sanchez, there's Russell Martin. So I got Barney, Goins, Stroman, Hap, Sanchez, and Martin. Why did I choose Russell Martin? Great defender. Wasn't the best on base hitter, but he hit 20 home runs, so you can't argue that. Next, I have every other pitcher and fielder and hitter. Because if I had to list all of those, we would be here all day. And it would be a really boring video. It would be like a huge live stream. So, <clears throat> uh, comment below what you think of this. Pyramid idea. Credit to Steve Dangle. Click like down below if you like to uh, click on his uh, subscribe channel, Steve Dangle. He's an amazing YouTuber. Great YouTuber. Uh, you can click my subscribe uh, down below and uh, have a good one. And let's go Blue Jays. There's going to be a lot more news. I know that obviously there's going to be a couple, a couple collar pulls when it comes to Jose and Edwin. And let's just see how this offseason goes, because it's obviously going to be either heartbreaking or fulfilling.
See ya.